Stefan Gilmore has been one of the biggest additions this season and adding a savvy veteran like this player, this is how you're able to take that next step as a defense. And with this type of play and leadership, it makes it better for the coaches and the entire defensive unit as a whole. So on this play here, you got Stefan Gilmore. He's lined up against AJ Brown. They like to use him in press coverage, off man coverage. It's great to be able to have a player that is versatile like this. And with Dan Quinn's type of scheme, they like to play these guys man up. They like to play zone and they want these guys to be ball hawks. If you're taking the ball away by interception or if you're stripping it away, just get the ball in Dak Prescott's hands. And this is how you can be able to make a difference. So the wide receivers on the opposite side, they're going to be running seam routes. And when you look at the tight end Dallas Garter, they like to use this guy within the interior. They like to have this guy running hitches just so he can be able to have one-on-ones because he's a big target. But looking at a guy like AJ Brown, he's going to be running a slant on this play they like to try to get him in space as well but having a guy like stefan gilmore who understands what this player is trying to do aj brown is going to win some but stefan gilmore will win his reps as well and it's always great to see these type of battles because these guys was running their mouth a lot throughout the beginning of this game and this is the kind of stuff that gets guys like gilmore hyped up and ready to go so we'll run this play as you can see stefan gilmore gets his hands on him Next thing you know, he's running that slant, so he does get separation. A.J. Brown is a big wide receiver, but the good thing is Stephon Gilmore is not a small corner. He rides behind him and sticks his right hand towards his right arm and strips the ball out. You love to see things like that, Cowboys Nation. The thing is, when you have a player that can be able to do things like that and the defense is aware and everybody can be able to rally to the ball, this is how you can be able to get turnovers. It's really, really good because things like that can be able to set the tone. We'll run it in the other view so you guys can be able to see it. Just seeing this guy just rip at the ball like he is. We know A.J. Brown gets the ball quickly, but that right arm right there, just being able to wrap around him and rip. Now look at the rip. You see that right arm right there? That's that rip that we want to see. This is always great film sessions to be able to see this kind of stuff. Just ripping it like that, man. That's how you can be able to make a difference. Taking the ball right away from this guy and going out there and setting the tone. So seeing plays like this is always good. And I actually went to this game and when this play happened, the crowd went crazy. And being able to set the tone like that, Stefan Gilmore, he understands it. And getting Dak Prescott the ball, this is how you can take that next step to win when games really matter. One thing about Dan Quinn's defense, he loves to be able to apply a lot of pressure on these quarterbacks. So he's going to be sending everybody on the defensive line and all the linebackers. It was a lot of cover one. It was a lot of cover zero. And it was man to man all across the board for a lot of plays in this game. So that outside wide receiver, he's going to be running the seam route. And with AJ Brown, they had him lined up in the slot. And whenever he was in the slot, Stefan Gilmore didn't guard him. But every time throughout the whole entire game, if he was lined up on the outside, they had Stefan Gilmore locking him down. But on this particular play, he's in a slot and he's going to be running a crosser and guys like Devontae Smith he's going to be running a crosser on the other side as well they're sending everybody so having cornerbacks that can be able to just have that high IQ and play sticky coverage is always great players that can be able to read and diagnose plays close and go out there and finish the play and that's exactly what Stefan Gilmore did so we'll go ahead and run it as you can see they're sending the whole house coming after Jalen Hurts they was applying a lot of pressure on Hurts all throughout the game but you see Devontae Smith, he's running that crosser route. And the good thing is Stephon Gilmore was able to diagnose it and close and go out there and make the tackle. And this was one of the most important plays of the game. This is what closed out the rest of the game and sealed it. But just seeing Stephon Gilmore having that IQ and having the ability to be able to close, it is always great to see, guys. So we'll run this in the other view so you guys can be able to see it. Dan Quinn is sending all six players. Next thing you know, he's running that crosser. And just what Stefan Gilmore was able to do, he's riding on his back, man. You love to see that. Look at that. It looked like the guy is gliding. You see the turf sand just flying all in the air. This is the kind of stuff that gets you hyped, Cowboys Nation. Things like that can be able to really, really make a difference. We'll run it in normal time so y'all can be able to see it. Having a player that has that high IQ, he has that closing speed, and he knows what these wide receivers are trying to do. These are playoff type of plays. And being at that game this past Sunday, it was a playoff atmosphere. And Stefan Gilmore, he had us going crazy because this is the type of guy that plays in big games. And it's great because guys like Mike McCarthy, Jerry Jones, you bring guys in that has played in big games. The Brandon Cooks, 
the Stefan Gilmore's guys that can go out there and make a difference. So we got some more highlights and some lowlights of this game. Seeing AJ Brown and Devonte Smith going up against Stefan Gilmore. They did make some plays against Stefan Gilmore, but these guys did not score one touchdown on the offense. And Stefan Gilmore had a lot to do with that. So let's get to it, Cowboys Nation. <laughs> play here they love to have their wide receivers running those corner routes you see Devontae Smith he's going to be running a corner route on that outside as well as guys like AJ Brown he's going to be running that corner route against Stefan Gilmore and with our safeties we're going to have two safeties deep with the middle field open and we're going to be sending four of our defensive linemen so we're not going to be blitzing or anything like that because at this point of the game we knew they were passing the ball and we were just trying to cover these guys to be able to get the ball back to Dak Prescott but just seeing what Stefan Gilmore was able to do and forcing him to run out of room, it's always great to be able to see things like that because this just shows that this guy's a veteran and he knows exactly what he's doing. So we'll go ahead and run it. As you can see, he's backpedaling smoothly, just studying AJ Brown, seeing what he's doing and what move he's about to make. He knows he's about to break on top of his route. So as soon as he breaks, he plants his foot. And next thing you know, he knows the ball is coming his way, so he closed on to the ball. And with A.J. Brown, he's running out of that room. Jalen Hurst throws the ball. That right foot is out of bounds. He doesn't have any room over there. He's out of bounds, but it's so good to be able to see what Stephon Gilmore was able to do just to be able to close in and just force him to run out of room. The referee said it was a catch right there. But the other referee said it was out of bounds, as you can see. And the thing that's so crazy about this play is it was out of bounds. So it's great to be able to see things like this from this player. We're running in real time so you guys can be able to see it. I'm so proud to see what these guys were able to do with the defensive line, the linebackers, and the cornerbacks. These guys played as a collective unit all throughout the game. And being at that game at Texas Stadium, it was such a good feeling. The crowd was so loud. It was so ramped up. And just having guys like Stephon Gilmore, seeing these guys in pregame, he was going back and forth with A.J. Brown. I could tell that the energy was there and this guy was hyped up. And the good thing about guys like Dan Quinn, we're going to need these guys down the stretch. Stephon Gilmore, Deron Bland, if you're going to be going up against the San Francisco 49ers, the Philadelphia Eagles, when we play those guys again down the road, it's going to be good, but being able to utilize cover one and cover zero, 
to blitz multiple people and trust these guys in man to man. It was very, very good to see. And I'm excited, guys. I can't wait. I just wanted to come in here and break down Stefan Gilmore because I feel as though that he was one of the biggest additions to our team this year. And we'll see how it all plays out. There is no excuses when it comes down to our Dallas Cowboys, bringing in guys like Stefan Gilmore, Brandon Cooks, Brandon Aubrey, offense, defense, and special teams. It all wins championships, Cowboys Nation. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell, because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss on fire live streams and unique breakdowns. All right, Cowboys Nation, talk to y'all soon. Gone.